here's the first method for proving um, a statement to be true or false. Uh, you can use an example. So that, that means is that you're going to pick an angle. For theta, uh, I would pick 30, 45, or 60. And to be honest, I tend to stay away from 45. We know it's a little bit special since the sine and the cosine are the same. Um, sometimes things just work out for 45 degrees. That might not work out for others. So I'm going to use 30 degrees. Um, you can use any angle you want here. So the idea is just like, let's see what happens if the angle is 30 degrees. So if the sine does the sine of 30 degrees times the cosecant of 30 degrees equal one. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Um, we're not positive right now. We're trying to prove it. So the sine of 30 degrees is a half. I looked at my trig toolbox and um, the trig ratios of special angles in my toolbox. It's also in my notebook. Uh, the cosecant of 30. So that one I could go on to Desmos. Um, if you use the graph, not the scientific calculator, you can actually just type cosecant 30. I have another video on how to do that. Um, I also know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So the sine of 30 is a half. The cosecant is 2 over 1, since those are reciprocals. And of course, I'm still wondering, does that equal 1? When I multiply fractions, which is just like I did in the last unit, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and that does equal 1. So therefore, by example, I've shown that when theta is 30, the sine of 30 times the cosine secant, the sine of 30 times the cosecant of 30 equals 1.